All right, guys, the first thing we can see here is kind of the end of the occipital frontalis muscle. Okay, it's the muscle that's running this way, and it would continue back on, all the way along the top of the head to the back of the head. This is the frontal belly of it. Along the back of the head, you'd see the occipital belly of it. Okay, the next muscle we see right through here has got the number 39 on it, and the muscle fibers would really be running just like this, okay, just in between the two eyes. This is called a procerius muscle. The next muscle we see here, it's got the number 31 on it, is the orbicularis oculi muscle, so it's just surrounding the eye. Number 33 here is the corrugator supercilii, corrugator supercilii. If you look down here, you can see the number 40. Okay, this muscle is your nasalis muscle, okay? Here we see a big muscle, so long. See how far it's going from the, all the way up from the bridge of the nose, all the way down to the lips. This is the levator labi superioris aliquae nasi. Okay, now there is also another muscle right here, down here. Okay, going down to the lips. And this one is called the levator labi superioris. So yes, this muscle here, you have to say levator labi superioris aliquid nasi to differentiate it between this muscle here, which is just levator labi superioris, right? Now there's another muscle over here and another one right through here. This one on top here is the zygomaticus minor. This guy's gonna be zygomaticus major. We'll take a look at that from a different video or a different slide, excuse me. Number 57 down here is this muscle. It's the mentalis. This muscle right through here, I can't see the number, but this is the depressor labi inferioris muscle, and it's attaching right here to number 44. That's circling around the lips. That is the orbicularis oris muscle, orbicularis oris. Now, if we look off to the side, we can see there's another muscle that kind of does this number, okay? That right there is the depressor anguli oris. Depressor anguli oris. Okay, now if we look at this from the side, we can see this muscle here. This is the masseter. Okay, we can see this one, two, three, auricular muscle. So there is a posterior, a superior, and then there's an anterior auricularis muscle. This number right through here is the rhizorius muscle. Okay, here we can see that zygomaticus minor here, and then we can see zygomaticus major. Remember, it's a minor over a major. Here we can see deep, deep here, you can see the parotid gland or the parotid duct actually piercing it. And underneath this as well is the buccinator or buccinator. You can say that if you want, but it's just deep. It's underneath the rhizorius muscle right through there. The other muscles we've already talked about. So let's just keep looking here. You can see the muscles from a different angle. You could quiz yourself here if you wanted to and just look back at the other ones. Uh, let's see. Here we can see the temporalis muscle. Okay, that's this muscle right through here. You'll notice the ear is missing. We're not seeing those muscles, so we're seeing deeper. You can see that buccinator again or buccinator. Okay, here we can see that levator labi superioris right through there. All right. Again, temporalis muscle right through there, which we've already seen. Now, right here, we see a muscle. And then right below it, we see another muscle, okay? These are our pterygoid muscles. So we have a lateral pterygoid, which is gonna go to the temporomandibular joint. And then we have a medial uh, pterygoid muscle, which is gonna go to the posterior angle of our jaw. So we can see that on another model as well. Again, you can quiz yourself here on these. Quiz yourself here if you want to again. We'll take a look at this in a different video. Okay, so here's our big guy, the guy that has a really big head. And this is the model where we saw the levator valley palatini and tensor valley palatini. But if you look right here, this is the medial pterygoid muscle coming from the pterygoid plate. And then here, look here, you can see the lateral pterygoid muscle. So lateral is going here to the temporomandibular joint versus the medial, it's got an M, right? It's going to the mandible or the angle of the mandible right through there.